I, I grew up with with Donna's children, with Delphina and, and Aaron, her, her youngest son, and I, I went to school with them and known them for quite some time. So I've known Donna for quite a few years now, and when I got introduced to Vaisalis almost a year ago now, I, I, I was telling people about the product, telling people about the product, getting people involved on the product, everything that I could do. And I came over here to tell Delphina about the business opportunity side. And I saw Donna for the first time in over a year, and she walked out of the hallway there, and she looked almost dead when she was walking around. She was so pale and just couldn't really even hold herself up. Almost. Actually, it was in July of 2006. I was given uh, 15 months to live, and um, I had very serious problems. I had cirrhosis of the liver. I had hepatitis C. I had um, osteoporosis, I had COPD, and um, I'm sorry, it's, just, it's really emotional for me. My doctor in Lancaster, my liver doctor, he doesn't understand any of this that's really going on. He's put me on injections, that I was taking injections every day. I started out with a big dose every day, it's called Pegasus, and then that didn't work. And then he put me on this other medication called Antifuron. And the Antifuron, he put me on a half a dose, and then he gave it to me from once a day to every day, and it didn't work. And I did that for almost eight months. And I was losing my hair. I couldn't walk. I couldn't um, do anything for myself. My daughter had to do everything for me. I was getting sick. I was vomiting. I was just, from what she tells me also, that I was hallucinating. I don't remember that. They told me after I spent 21 days in the hospital that they said I had two choices to either go to a convalescent hospital or to go home and I chose to go home when she got out of the hospital you know the doctor had told me that you know her problem was it wasn't gonna get better there was actually nothing they could do because the shots I had to give her every day weren't um, helping at all they were actually making her worse and she was going through severe anemia she was uh, to the point where she couldn't eat on her own she couldn't uh, take showers on her own. She um, was, uh, she, she had a walker. She, I mean, it was, it was really bad. And when we went to the doctor, they had actually told me, you know, at the end, right before LD actually came over about a week and a half, that she would hallucinate. She would start to hallucinate when her body was beginning to die. And <laughs> she, um, she started to hallucinate Thing, strange, strange thing, and um, LD had came over actually 